okay, I'm back and I got my buttons. And I'm by myself right now because Karen's gone to lay down. She's not feeling very good. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so I got my buttons. And I know the needle's probably not going to fit through half of these, so that's okay. I want to start with my needle. About there. So I'm going to pull it through. And I'm going to try and clamp it in here so I don't snag it, pull it too much while I'm putting it into the book. All right, so we're going to go into the first. I like to start in the middle. That's just my preference, but I think that's probably the easiest way. Um, do I have this upside right? <laughs> Let me make sure because this heart... This envelope is upside down. So let me turn the envelope around. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so I'm out here and I'm going to go into there. So I'm going to pick up a button. Uh, <clears throat> that one's a little too big. So I'm probably going to take my needle off for this to thread a button on. Sorry, you probably hear my dog um, drinking. Tia, you okay? Put it down like that, and I'm going to put another button on. <coughs> um, oh. Here's the teal green one. Yep. Okay, so <coughs> that's supposed to go like that. Uh, do you want to go outside? And I am going to glue these buttons down after so they don't keep moving. There's a beige one. This is really vintagey. <clears throat> time consuming I know but it will look pretty nice so I think three buttons is good enough <clears throat> yeah okay Get my needle back in here. So I need to go in this hole. <coughs> you okay, baby? You okay, baby girl? Do you need to go outside? Probably do. Just my luck. And this is the part I hate the most is finding this all these pieces that were poked. And it shouldn't be moving. <clears throat> I can barely see it. There we are. There we go. <sighs> okay, now let's flip it over and check our buttons. Why? Jeez Louise. What is the problem here? Okay. 
Now, there we go. That's how tight I need to pull these. Time consuming. <clears throat> For nothing. <clears throat> so let me tighten this again. Now, got that tight. I want to put it back in the same hole. So this should be fun. Oh. <clears throat> Back in that hole. Are you going to tighten up or not? There we go. Just wanted to frustrate me, didn't you? Okay. Another brown button. Well, of course, that's not going to fit in that big fat needle. <clears throat> These are really vintage, you can tell. They're just old. Come on, you can do it. That one, and I want a tiny white one. This one's perfect. <clears throat> I'm starting to think maybe I'll just cover this up. That's what I'm starting to think I might do. Because <clears throat> I really don't like the buttons to be honest. Yeah, I don't like the buttons. Okay. <laughs> all of this all over again. These are not easy to get off. That's because my stuff has a A, um, not in it now. So I'm just gonna go back. Sing. Oh, this is not easy. <clears throat> there we go. Plus, it'll tighten up tighter, and that's the only thing that's scaring me from this whole thing. Is this not getting nice and snug? So, all right. So that's about how long I want it. I have to cut that off because I got a knot on it. Tia, you want to go outside? This is the worst part of making a junk journal, is getting these signatures sewed in. But once they're in, then it's a breeze. <laughs> I'm not having any luck, guys. Just not having any luck. 
I went in the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention, am I? Because I'm worried about my dog. I know she needs to go out. And I'm going to go let her out right now. As soon as I get this in. Oh, thank you. Now we got her right. And now we just have to tie a little knot. So that one's in. It's nice and snug. Yeah, I think I'm going to camouflage this. I'm going to cover it with something. I did get some new stuff in, which is pretty cool stuff. Um, I don't remember the name of it, and I don't even know. Oh, I think I know where I put it. But, yeah, it's um, very durable. It's called fabric paper. Fiber tech or something like that. I can't remember the name. Tech tech or something. Okay, so I like that little knot. Didn't need to waste all that. Now I can sew my second signature with that. And I'm just going to dab it with a bit of hot glue. And I'm going to go let my dog out. Okay, I'm back. Now, so let me have a look, make sure it looks good. I could put it upside right, don't really matter right now. But I do have it all going the right way. Now, for this doily, you can see it's not very even here. I need to pull that in a bit. So I'm going to do it that way. There we go. Now, before I sew my second signature in, I'm going to attach this doily so that it stays even. And I could still have my little pockets in between. So I don't really care where the holes are, just as long as these doilies match up. That's all I care about. Okay, so I'm going to just put, oh geez, I forgot to put my hook needle back on this. And where is it? Okay, so I need to get rid of the buttons. I won't be using them. It's right here. Let's see if I can poke it to come out. Somewhat, anyway. Yeah, it's still good. Okay, so I'm just going to glue it here on the side for now. Because I want these doilies to be pockets in between my signatures. There we go. Cool. And I will put like little pieces of paper here, like, you know what I mean? Just to strengthen them, but they're going to be just cute little pockets. So now, Signature number two can go in, and this is going to be a little more difficult because it's got a thing in it, and we got an envelope already. Okay, so <clears throat> make sure we put this upright. Yep. So I kind of want, I kind of like where it's all situated. So let me grab some clips. Clip this here. Clip it. <laughs> that one flew away. Clip it there. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to line it all up the best I can and get my pokey tool. And Start poking away at it. Oh my god, I did it. Went right through it. Whew. I'm going to get my needle in there before I do anything else, before it moves on me. Don't want it to move. Ugh. 
poop it here. Because that's where it's going to go. <coughs> I realize I'm doing this a very complicated way, but I just want to make sure that I'm in the right hole. First one, second one. Yep. Sure am. All right. So that doily's perfect. Okay, so I don't want this to ruin. So I'm going to hold it there. And I'm going to get ready to poke it in the second hole. And this is probably going to be the easiest way for me to do this. So I'm going to come up in there, come through this doily, right where I poked it. Yep. No! Get back out. I'll worry about that in a minute. And through here. So I've got all my holes lined up. There we go. And then I don't have to worry. I know it's this is a hard way, guys, but to me, it's the right way. Kind of wet the end of that a little bit. Stick it in there. Come on, get in there. Are you upside down? No. There we go. All right. Now we're now we're cooking with Crisco. Okay. So I'm gonna go back down through. Come out the other side. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Why don't I try putting this on? There we go. We're getting it. All right. Now my last hole. And I'm just kind of guesstimating might not want to do what I'm doing but hey it's all it's all good oh what in the heck is this <laughs> what have I done ribs uh, I see what I did I guess I need to be more careful because I poked a hole in my doily and I didn't go back in the right hole. I know, I know. You guys probably think I'm crazy, but it's the only way I want to do it because now. I could use my template, but I'd rather just use this pokey tool because it's going to get me where I want it to be. Exactly where I want it to be. Let me just check again. I'm going to pull this tight. Really hard way. There we go. Ow! There we 
we go. Ouch. Those fabric layers is what makes it really hard. Seriously, I did that. I might get this sewn in today. Well, we don't know yet. <clears throat> I might. I need it to come in from this way. Which is fine. Just as long as none of my stuff moved, we're good. There we go. There. Pull that nice and snug, like a bug in a rug. Don't really like how that was. Folded boobs. Oh well, it's getting closed up anyway. Somehow. Alright, I'm just going to tie this. Get it over with. some hot glue. There. How did the other one turn out? <coughs> Pretty good. I'm going to close that up. You can't even see that. And there is my hidden bottom huh? I love it. And there's my pocket. I love it. I love it. Love it. It's worth the hassle, but snip that off. And snip that off. Good. I probably can make another thing with that. There we go. So I'm just going to make, hey, there we go. We'll make a little tuck spot. That's what we'll do. Because this is a beautiful envelope. And I'm going to go <coughs> and glue this one down. So, my sewing is hidden. I got a pocket. Good. So let's go flip through. <coughs> and let's see how these doilies. See how the doily turned out? Just perfectly. I love it. This is what was really hard to get the needle through. So I'm really pleased. Everything's all centered. So everything's pretty good. I love it. And there's the second doily ready to be sewed in. Yeah, we'll just cover this up. It's a very small area, so you know, it's not not like it takes up my full spine. But anyway, so back to this. So where are my bigger big big ones? There's one. I need a big one. I actually need two big ones, but one will do for now. I just want to hold this down while I do the next signature. So let's get the envelope, or the envelope, the doily. Let's put some glue on it here. Okay. 
Now you see when I did the junk journal kits, I put a doily exactly like this in all of them. So you can do the same thing like this with your junk journal kit. Not really lining up perfectly, but I'm okay with that. <clears throat> and I'm not going to trim that off. Just as long as it stays centered. That's all I care about. So, I'm going to poke me holes in this one here. this third signature and I have an envelope here as well but it's not really a hidden binding or it's not hidden sewing it could be if I opened it and then just glued it Let's try to open this ever so carefully. It is a pre-made envelope. And I'll glue it shut when I'm done with it. So it has to go like that. In here. I'm just going to do this for now. Move you out of the way. Okay, all my pages are getting mucked up here. So let's line this up. Line you up. And I'm going to use this too. <coughs> and it's for the third signature. Close this envelope up. Uh, let's see. I want it to be centered. So, right there. All right. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So cute. Okay, I'm just going to do it the way I was doing it. <clears throat> because this way I know it's going to fit in my book, line up properly. my holes. That looks about good. Okay. And poke it there. And there. Okay. Give me this 
needle. Ugh. Probably need pliers to pull this sucker through. Alright, I'm going to have to roughly guesstimate there again. Let's see if that's where it needs to go. Oh, pretty good, pretty good guess. I guess I have to, and everything's going to move. Stupid needle. Did it move? Not quite too much, but it did move some. Cooking with Crisco again. There we go. Perfect. All right. Last one. Where's that hole? a lot. Alright, so I'm going to tie this off. And that will be three signatures done and sewed into our book. A tiny bit of hot glue on there. could use our glitter glue, but I'd rather use this glue. There we go. Snip. Snip. Perfect. Now, it will be hidden. Look at that. So, <clears throat> we just have to re-glue. Oops. We glue our envelope. See, if there's a will, there's a way, guys. Always, always, always. I wanted those uh, doilies to be matched up into pockets, and it's working out just fine. And now you can't see my stitching. Let's go check our pockets. Looks just fine to me. Perfect. Oh my goodness, I love it. So there's three signatures in. So cool. Look at that. Just love it. Don't 
doing good. Very happy with this. So this one went in easy. The next three should be just as easy. What do you guys think? You guys like this idea? I do. And I'm going to try and find a biggie one for here. Not too big, but it'll hold it down perfectly. All right, so let's grab this doily and glue this one down. a little bit but hey that'll be just fine I like it. I love so if, if you notice when you get your kit and these doilies um, have uh, like a rough side to them and a nice smooth side I kept the smooth side I folded them on the inside of the signature so the rough side is out and then I just colored in the the smooth side of the doily you can feel it you can feel the texture on it it's very rough so I got the smooth sides out and that's that and I'm gonna have to grab some more thread no problem let's have a drink of our coffee too guys That one went went in super easy. Let's hope the next one goes in just as easy. I think I've got a, a knack for it now, what I'm doing. I don't even have to punch the holes in those doilies. So, so I'm going to put enough on here to do three signatures again. So I don't have to keep changing my thread. And I'm just going to put this piece back on because I do use this. And it's probably already all tangled. Mm -hmm. It sure was. Hi, Tiki. Yeah, because I'm not going to be needing any more of this um, thread just for now. Just this piece. Okay. So move those. Okay. And I'm just going to give that a little pull. Straighten it out a little bit. I think that's perfect. Now let's get our next signature. Um, check to make sure it's lined up good, everything's lined up the way you like it. I think I like this, what I've got, um, except for in the middle, I need this envelope. So, I'm going to make that like that, and this like this. good nope this is sticking out what is this oh I have to trim that that's no big deal as long as the rest of this is good okay so we want it upside right because this book goes no, this way all right I'm gonna pull this piece of ephemera out because I can't get my clip on here. There we go. That one's on. And that one's on. Okay. So, I want it to be lined up right about there. So let me see where my hole is. Move it up 
there. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so I'm just trying to line up my crease on my dolly with where I need to punch this hole. So it looks like it's about right there. And again, I'm going through I'm going to go through the center of the doily and through the book. There we go. Good, good, good. So I'm going to hold this nice and snug, pull that out, push that on through. up is not as easy as going down. Oh boy, don't rip my doily. I just needed to get it in that hole. And this just had to fall right out, didn't it? So this has to go that way. Ain't gonna worry about that right now until I get this flipping needle through. Make this hole bigger. Finally. Ugh. What did I do? Oh, I see. Oh, I'm just not having any luck. And I have a knot. Typical embroidery thread for doing this. I kid you not. This stuff is horrible for knots. It, especially when you're cross stitching. My god, it's a huge mess. Oh, I don't know how this happened, but it did. Not fun. It is so tangled. Like seriously. <laughs> how? How, how, how is this possible? Oh dear God. Just break it. I don't care. Getting sick of this already. <laughs> I'm getting kind of frustrated. Can you tell? Yeah. One thing to another. Where did it break? I'm 
to pull those threads off. <sighs> this is why I don't use long threads, because they don't work. I want to try and catch these in here. There we go. Oops, I hear more ice falling off the house. Now I need to put it in here first and then in here, in this hole. There we go. Oh god. <laughs> this is just not good. Not good at all. Not having fun because things are not cooperating for me. Well, you know what? I'll also put the envelope back in because it came out. just wants to fall out again. You know, when things don't go right, sometimes you should just walk away, Rubes. Sometimes that helps. I'm not a giver up her though. I'm just not like that. Times I do want to give up, I don't. I just have a determined mind. All right. That last hole has to go about there. Yep. We did it. We did it. Frustration, but we did it. Oh my God, I can't believe how much trouble I'm having doing this. There is an easier way, I know, but I gotta do things the hard way. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little teeny dime of glue. Some strings on it. Okay. Ooh, glue strings. And we'll snip that off. Throw it in the garbage. And we will call this envelope done. This one already had score tape on it. This just made my life so much easier. Look at that, just had to score tape it. Now it's sealed. And we're gonna have to snip that open. Might as well do it right now before I forget. And we'll make a little, like a coin thing on it. And I think I'm going to round the corners of this. Yeah, and I hate how this thing cuts. Like seriously, look at that. It's got like a little lip on it. 
Okay. So fixed the leaf. there because you can see all that white and we'll fix that. There we go. All right. Hopefully we did something right. Yep. Whew. Determination. That's what I have. I'm a determined person. Do things right. <coughs> so that doily's not the greatest of, I'll just pull it, and I will glue the next one to it. And this is coming along perfectly. I don't know where my big clips are. Oh, is that a big one? Yes, that's a big one. That's what I need over here. This one's too small. I need a big one. There we go. All right. Two more. Oh, lordy, lordy. Lordy, lordy. of it. This one is a little shorter, but that's okay because I'm going to camouflage it. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to be covering all that up because this is very brittle on the ends. I'll just make a small little pocket. Put a tag in. All right. We're ready to roll. Ready to rumble. So the book's going to go... Yep, yeah, it's going to go this way. So I'm just checking it. Let's see what we have in the center of this. And in the center... Is this? No, I need an envelope. So, let's grab one of these. Um, yeah, let's use this one. <clears throat> and I'm just going to fold it myself. I don't really need uh, score it. I just want to make sure I get it in the right way. So, all right. Okay. We will put you. That just made this thicker, of course. An envelope in here. What could I take out? I don't want all these pages. Um, I don't want to take out that pocket. Oh, just leave it. I'm just going to leave it. <clears throat> all right. Line it up with the others. Okay.
<coughs> a nice little pushy tool. It's a pokey tool and a push tool. <coughs> and we're going to hold you there. And then let's line this up. Oops, too far over. Down a bit. And that looks about right. I probably put a million pokes in my pad. In my silicone mat here. A plastic mat or whatever it is. There we go. <laughs> so. Did that. Going in a little easier, touch wood. <coughs> okay. Whew. Good job. All right. <coughs> now, last hole. Okay. Let's pick this up and the dolly up. Make sure the creases are in it. There we go. Use your muscles, Rubes. And I kind of lost this one now. There we are. Didn't really lose it. <coughs> it's there. Easy peasy. Because of the weather here like I could see how dry they are they're just gross but I can't put cream on them because then my score tape if I ever touch it I got greasy hands it's just gonna ruin it it's just not cooperating my hands. Okay. And there we go. And the fourth, fifth signature is done. So let's, uh, you know what? I'm going to glue it all shut. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to make this into a pocket. Well, I probably shouldn't have put blue up there, but there, yeah. Straight groups. Mm. 
Well, I'm coming at a slant, so you can't expect me to be perfect. <laughs> okay, come on. There we go. Make sure I didn't... Let's glue this guy down, though. smaller scissors really Good with signature number five. Oh man, how did I do this? Stupid thing. There. Fixed it. Well, I didn't fix that. I can't even push that eye pin all the way in. Because my daughter bent the heck out of it. So there's our other pocket. Looks pretty good. Oh my goodness. This is looking spiffity. I'm pretty sure I'm running out of thickness here. Or it's getting way too thick for me to hold with these binder clips. But anyway, let's get rid of the garbage. I really like this pocket. <laughs> oh yeah, and these are what we made yesterday. And uh, look at how cute. Check everything. Everything looks pretty good. Uh -huh. Oh, that was what was thick. Alright, we are down to one more signature. And this one here is sticking up too much. Holy cow. job. Whew. Wow. It's a lot of pages to go through. This is a lot of pages in this journal to go through, but we'll do it. We'll make some good stuff with this. Okay. Well... Well, this one's a bigger signature, that's why. This one's a little bigger. That's okay. It's cool. We need the doily. Come here.
네. 네, we go. All right. Well, I kind of don't think this is going to hold this down. I don't think. Yeah, it's going to just pop off. But anyway. Yeah, that's not going to work. We'll just get our last signature in here and call it a day. So, this has no envelope in it either. So, I'm going to change this over. Put the envelope on this side here. And I kind of like where it is right now. So, let's get the poking. Let's see. Pull this up. Perfect. And I didn't even I'm actually gonna do this one first. Then I could flip the book around. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know. Cool. It's hidden inside anyways. Okay. That looks about good. There we go. Flip it around this way because it's easier for me to poke this needle through back up. I'm holding the pages close with my thumb. There we go. And we got her. Well, that was a long process, but I wanted those doilies to be pockets. And they are. And I'm happy about that, guys. I'm so happy about it. And there we go. <laughs> Do I have a glue on there? Snip. this up. very happy with the way that all these clips just fell out, these binder clips. 
All right. So happy with how this turned out. Wow. Very, very nice. I know it's, you know, you can't see it like crazily, but now you can see what I was trying to get at with all my hidden, my hidden spine. See? Because you can't see it from the dually. Because the dually is just a pocket. So cute. I'm very, very happy with this. Got it finally sewn in. These turned out so beautiful. Oh my goodness. I just love how this turned out. I really do. I just love this. I don't even have to decorate that page. So there's the envelope. There we go. There's the second half of it. That turned out very cute. Okay, so I really love this. I might just glue these doilies down on this side and this side. What do you think? Yeah, I think I will, but not right now. Wow. Gorgeous, isn't it? I thought I would get a lot of this decorated, but it took me longer to... i got to go figure out what I'm going to do for this spine. Maybe I'll just put some really pretty lace on it. I do have all kinds of laces here I brought with me. And... Uh, oh, this is a pretty one. Except it's snagged with this stuff. This is really pretty lace. that on and that will totally hide my spine. I think I will. I really do. This here is stretchy so but I love this stuff. It just feels like silk. It actually goes this way. But I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for closure. And you know I think I'm just gonna have lace ties. Here's a nice long piece. Nice cream colored piece. Yeah, we could use this just to tie the book off. I don't think we need that long of a piece. So, yeah. I've got to put the uh, insides in here. I really don't want to waste all that lace if I don't need to. So before I put anything on here, I want to make this a closure. But do I want to do it from the inside? Or do I want to camouflage it on the outside? How do I want to do this? It is the question. I think I'll do it from the inside. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut this in half and just see. I don't want to waste all this lace. Okay, let's do it.
Yeah, I think that's a little long. <laughs> close with the tie. I will trim this off at a later date. Depends how bulky we make this. But yeah, it's going to have this lace closure. I really like that. Okay. It is too long though. <laughs> Alright, well I'll see you guys soon on my next video. Thank you for watching guys and staying with me and have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless. Bye, everyone.